welcome into the PHOY Cocktail Club, where we're mixing it up each week, bringing you guys some recipes that are inspired by the Phillies. And we've got our bartender in-house, Jamie Lynn. She does many things. And one of the things yeah. that you have are skills as a bartender. First two episodes, we had the Clearwater Week 1. We also had the Rundown Week 2. This week, we're going into the Caveman. It's a simple beer recipe that's very tasty, Jamie. What's yes. On, what's on in tap for today? Uh, so the point of this, again, is simplicity. I've seen people do this at Citizens Bank Park. I've heard the lure of the peanuts in beer thing. But before we get to that, I want to give you the baseball happy hour kind of fun fact Ooh. that you can tell your buddies at the bar and sound like you really know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is a Greg Maddox stat. And when you look up like these baseball fun facts and stats, Greg Maddox is always a darling of this. Uh, so here it is. So Greg Maddox through a total of 8,006 called balls uh, to 8,025 batters he faced from 95 to 2003. Mm. That's less than one ball per batter. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that is how precise uh, of command and control Greg Maddox had. Less than one ball a batter for what? Over an eight year span. Yeah, over an eight year period. That Shit. is just freakish. Uh, so, I've said I've seen it done at Citizens Bank Park before. I've heard pe people do this. Uh, what we're going to do is get your favorite Miller Lite. I prefer <laughs> the aluminum can uh, bottles myself, but obviously the regular 12 That's ounce can. Um, so, I would recommend, now I've only done this once before. Shout out to Miller Lite. Tastes like a beer should. Only 96 calories. Um, I made the mistake of putting the shells in the beer at right. the stadium. I had the draft beer. So this time, Renee and I have already pre-shelled pre some like peanuts. Wanna... Uh, oh, yeah. I, well, yeah, like I feel like I want to smash them the right. Oh, that's not as. So our, we already pulled our. So for the drinkability factor, yeah, we're going to smash our let peanuts. Let me close it up. You're, I don't know what the proper the way is. So apparently, this drink originated there's debate between Midwest and the South as two manual laborers starting this uh, during the workday so they could also consume peanuts <laughs> while drinking because their hands would be filthy and they didn't want to get the peanuts all filthy so it was a way for them to get protein right, uh, easily right. on the job uh, and then in for good health purposes Renee uh, apparently the combination of peanuts and beer uh, because the peanuts are rich in potassium, beer has vitamins and carbohydrates in it. Right. The two of them combine into a super hydrating force that some re researchers think is uh, more hydrating than water and sports drinks. So Miller Lite and peanuts, wow. good for you. So basically, if you are dehydrated, recovering from workout, recovering from a nice night out, you can actually dog. drink yeah. Miller Lite with peanuts in it and it'll have the same... Basically. Benefits, if not more than your usual, like, energy drinks or even a bottle of water. Absolutely. Okay, so we're giving you guys also a healthy recipe. And as yeah. Jamie, we're you're promoting talking good about, health we're all about simplicity. I, don't, yes. I feel like I need a funnel, though. So I am just going to uh, drop all these peanuts in my some? beer. No, oh, no super foaming effect, which is pretty encouraging there. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe if I do the napkin funnel technique. Yeah. Let's At a stadium, way. just break them and throw them in there, you know? That's the beauty of a ballpark. Oh, yeah. I, I, me and my wife get a bag of peanuts every single Phillies game we go to because Do you like I would eat peanuts all the time, but they're Do so you messy. Swirl it or something? Yeah, they are messy. So at home, you don't really want to have peanuts, but at a ballpark, I mean, I'm sorry for when the people that like clean up the stadium, but you can just yeah. throw them on the floor. It's great. That's what we were eating them before we did this, and they are they are messy, but they're great. So okay. the salt, and, and another fun fact oh. about beer and salt is Gosh's, uh, which is a traditional huh. salty German style of brewing, a little fruitier and a little saltier. Uh, but salt and beer is a... Not a good idea. Not a good what, idea. Why did you shake that? <laughs> why did you shake that? It's fine, guys. It's fine. Don't I just wanted shake to make it like sure. Renee. I was just showing you what not to do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I was doing a light swirl because so, I just wanted uh, to... So, to salty beer. Yeah, that... Don't shake it up. Hmm. Okay. I would, e I would even go more peanuts than I did. I was going to say, I feel like... But the peanuts float at the top. Mm -hmm. that's so why you, you get a little up. like peanut, it's almost like a, it's a snack and a drink all in one. Yeah, you get some crunch. You can also. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a two for one. Yeah. You know, you go out, you want to have snacks and a drink. You have the caveman so there all you in go. one. And, uh, and how do we come up with the caveman? It was uh, Brandon Marsh. So because it's a beer, beer and you can't say beer. beard without beer. Brandon Marsh caveman. And this is peanut beer. 
So naturally, our brain goes to Brandon Marsh. All right. Well, because beer and beer just go hand in hand, and that's how you end up with the caveman. The caveman, I will be running it back with uh, at a ballpark near you this summer.